Workers from across the world are coming to North Staffordshire to be trained underground at a former colliery site. They're about to start working on a new £3.2 billion pounds project in Yorkshire, digging for a new mineral called polyhalite. Apedale Colliery near Newcastle under Lyme has been chosen to carry out the training for specialised mining rescue operations. And Laura Mayman Mullins has been along to find out more. Deep underground and on their way to rescue a colleague. We've got an explosion, I'm the casualty, there's carbon dioxide and the team will come and recover me. What's the captain? It's captain yeah. Unconscious breathing. This is a specialised training exercise. Many of the men have never been underground before, but they've come to Apedale Colliery near Newcastle under Lyme, specifically chosen for rescue operations. We looked at quite a few different training venues and Apedale turned out to be one of the better, more realistic working areas. Um, we have the opportunity to show as well as gas in the mine, combined space training, to get the open areas. Everything about this mine is absolutely fantastic for the training we do. These men and thousands more from all over the world are working on a huge mining project in North Yorkshire. Sirius Minerals are constructing the first deep mine in the UK for 40 years, extracting polyhalite. It's all part of a £3.2 billion pound project. It's amazing. It's uh, on my doorstep, so it's nice to see after the steelworks closed down that there's someone coming into the, uh, the area again. Yeah, it was quite intense. I'm not the fitness guy, but hopefully I will get that. Lucky, you know, we've got Aikdale here. Um, this mine is a, is, a, is a fantastic training mine. Aikdale has a rich mining history, but closed its doors back in October 1998. It was one of the last pits to use traditional methods. Right across Stoke-on-Trent and North Staffordshire, there were dozens of pits employing around 20,000 people at the height of the industry, and it was a tough, brutal job. Wonderful to think that the skills and the inheritance of all those years are now being passed on to a new generation. And hopefully for generations to come, this modern day mine has the potential to last for a hundred years and life-saving skills these men can pass on. Laura May McMullen, BBC Midlands Today, Apedale in North Staffordshire. It's time for sport here with...